And it was my job on top of the hill to go around and pick up all the dead guys, me and the squad, pick up all the dead guys and lay them out on the hill. A guy on the outpost said, there's a million of them coming up. And we were on a mountain. When you wake up in the morning, the clouds are down below. He said, there's a million coming up on you. And we heard all this noise, all this banging. And out of 50, 60 guys, only four of us came off the hill <laughs> without a scratch. You know, it's one thing to see body bags, but it's another thing to put bodies in the bag. And I said, oh man, and I said, man, I just can't wait. I'm getting back. I ain't never going to extend. I ain't, that was it. I did my service for my country. That was it. John, what unit was you with? Two five Fox Company and Golf. I was with Golf. We got overran on top of uh, the coal mine. Yeah. 67. You were with Melvin Newland. Melvin Newland was awarded the Medal of Honor. They called me and wanted me to come up to D.C. for the ceremony. I was one of the sergeants that wrote him up for the Medal of Honor and he received it. So you two were in the same company? Melvin, you yes. were in the same company at the same time? I come over in November. Melvin was my cousin. Oh. Him and I went in the Marine Corps together. George, you grew up uh, in Wellsville Ohio. Wellsville, Ohio. And tell the group how you decided to join the Marines. There were five of us. We were out along the riverbank drinking beer one night. How old? Well, I was going to be 16 in a few days. <laughs> and uh, we had a couple guys that were older. One guy, his dad had been in the Marine Corps on Iwo. And we always loved and respected him, so we thought we would all go in. We went in at varying times. Melvin went in about three months before me, him and Ernie. Ernie got killed in May of 67. I went to his funeral before I left for boot camp. Melvin got killed July 4th of 67. I was in boot camp. Third guy that went in with me, he got killed in October of 68. I ended up going to his funeral when I come home. So out of the five kids who were sitting on that riverbank, three were killed in Vietnam. After, you know, getting wounded three times, coming home, here you are, you know, years later, do you feel like you somehow won the lottery or somehow got a gift of the rest of your life that other people didn't get? Yes. You know, it's just, I wonder myself, how? What did I do differently? You know, why, why did I survive this and so many guys, bigger, stronger, faster, smarter, didn't? Maybe it's to come out here and do stuff like this and get to meet somebody that was with my cousin. I mean, when you started telling that story, I knew exactly. And it's Hill 661 in the coal mine. Yes. I was one of the guys that picked him up, put him in a body bag. They have a highway back home in Wellsville named after him. I was there for the dedication. Another guy that I went in that I went to the funeral with, Ernie Madden. He was a Silver Star recipient. He has another highway named after him. Thank you so much, George. 